Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I'm doing a collective reading for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. And typically, I don't get cards coming through until I actually start recording the reading. But occasionally, when there's a really powerful energy coming through the reading, some of the cards will actually come out as I am preparing the decks and that kind of energy is coming through today's reading. The two cards that came out as I was preparing for the reading were the High Priestess and Passion of the Wild Red Mother. The interesting thing about this passion card is that it's actually turned inward, which tells me that someone I'm tapping into here is very much in their high priestess energy. Someone here is another card that came out was change. So what I was going to say is that Someone is using their intuition to guide them into making positive, powerful shifts, moves, or changes in their life that are bringing in a lot of peace, prosperity, and love. That is what I was getting very clearly, but I feel that this is an internal shift taking place, specifically with Passion of the Wild Red Mother turned inward. I'm picking up that for someone I'm tuning into here, you are taking all of this passion. I'm hearing a burning passion that you've always had within you that perhaps in the past you have turned towards something external, an external person, thing, job, something of that nature. You're now taking all of that passion and actually turning it inward. And that is rendering you extremely powerful at this time. I'm hearing magnetic as well. I also feel as though someone's intuition is delivering them a really high level of spiritual wisdom. This could be happening subconsciously. So this spiritual wisdom, so to speak, might be coming to you through dreams. It might be popping into your mind through meditation or visualization. I'm getting that for someone, you might be feeling or seeing glimpses of a futuristic timeline that you are shifting into where you are actually going to be achieving a lot of long held goals, dreams, and desires and feeling these glimpses of this futuristic timeline may actually motivate you towards certain shifts, change, or action in the present because it's almost as though you are feeling the pull of this future version of yourself that's already living it. Now, I am getting a lot of divine feminine energy from these cards very clearly, both with the high priestess being a very empowered divine feminine card. And then of course, passion of the wild red mother, the mother here symbolizing the divine feminine. So I feel that very likely if you have aligned with this reading and you are connecting with these messages so far, it's very probable that you are connecting in more with your divine feminine energy than with your masculine energy at this time. You may even identify yourself as a divine feminine, although of course we all do have a balance of each energy within us. So now I'm picking up on a divine masculine here. So for many of you, I'm getting that the masculine coming through here at this point in the reading, first of all, the fact that he is coming up so soon in the reading tells me that this person is, I'm hearing they think fondly of you and they are very much thinking of you, but I'm getting this sense of distance here. 
with the sun reversed, it feels like there's a lot of heaviness around this person or situation from the past. So this could be a divine masculine that you used to have a connection with that was more physical or 3D in nature. And now in the 3D, there may be some type of distance. I feel as though this person may bring up a lot of sadness or grief within you in the physical world. This could be because of the distance. It may be because of things that happened between the two of you. And I feel your guides, Divine Feminine, really admonishing you to continue stabilizing yourself in this high priestess state of being to not allow heavy energies from your past to weigh you down or to pull you back into old patterns because I feel that with the five of cups reversed for a while you may have been in that five of cups energy finding it difficult to shift gears I'm hearing to move forward with your life because of whatever happened in this situation to this divine masculine However, now I feel as though you are finally allowing yourself to heal from something, finally allowing yourself to move forward in your life in a positive way. In fact, for some of you listening, you may have suddenly gotten this surge of inspiration to heal some aspect of yourself or your past, to release something from your past, to really step into some kind of new vision that is pulling you into a timeline that you are beginning to align yourself with energetically. And I feel, again, the spiritual forces around you, your guides, are really asking you to hold that higher level frequency rather than allowing weights from your past to pull you down. I'm not sure why I'm getting that exact wording. Obviously, this could apply in many different ways. I'm also hearing allow yourself to be healed because I feel as though... For someone I'm tapped into here, there may be something or someone from your past that connected with a lower vibrational version of you. And subconsciously, even though you are a very powerful and self-aware, awakened, divine, feminine energy here, you may have subconsciously kept yourself stuck in a lower vibrational holding pattern because you were afraid to release something or someone from your life. Maybe for someone I'm speaking to here, there may have been a little bit of subconscious fear that if you were to fully empower yourself, to fully heal yourself, that you would lose that person or thing altogether. And I'm hearing that when you heal yourself, you don't lose anything. You allow everything to transform. And so I feel like there's almost been like one last piece or one last thing about your past or a past version of you that maybe you've been holding on to or you've been afraid to fully look at or fully allow yourself to heal. And that seems to be coming up with this surge of motivation, this surge of inspiration to be healed at this time. Now, I am getting that with the Page of Cups upright, this represents a very sensitive, comforting, loving kind of energy, a deeper level of emotional awareness as well. So I'm getting this will connect in different ways. For some of you listening, this may be an energy that you're cultivating within yourself. In a sense, you are creating this aura of peace, of comfort, of happiness around yourself, of self-awareness of your own emotional world and connectedness to those inner emotions. For others of you, this could actually be a new person externally that you're connecting with. So this could be someone externally who is helping to bring this love, comfort, healing, kindness into your life. This might be futuristic for some of you. So this might be someone that you feel coming into your life. 
This could be romantic, platonic. This even could be someone like a counselor or a professional, a life coach, someone in your life to guide you and to help you to find that sense of comfort and peace within yourself. But for many of you, this will be something you're either cultivating internally, or it will be someone that's actually entered your life recently or will be entering your life in the near future. Above all else, this has a very strong vibe of friendship with the three of cups upright. This feels like someone or an energy, if it's not a person who really allows you to bring in a happy time where you are reintroducing your new empowered, higher vibrational version of self to the world in a more visceral way than before because I'm getting that in the past, you may have kept yourself very closed off either for the purpose of healing, of strengthening yourself, of achieving some kind of goal, or because you were holding on to some kind of divine masculine energy from your past that kept you a little bit isolated or closed off from the rest of the world. And I'm getting that all of that has shifted in a powerful way. I'm hearing the door is open. Are you going to stay step through it. And right as I said that, we have the star card. I feel like the last few weeks have been a really powerful time for whoever I'm speaking to here at this deeply spiritual level. A lot of this feels connected to some of the astrological transits taking place at at this time as well. See, the energy is picking up so fast that at times I can barely keep up with my words here, which tells me that is your energy. Your energy is really beginning to build a kind of momentum that's beginning to break through the surface in ways that you might feel as a sudden surge of inspiration or motivation to change or shift something about your life or simply to allow some kind of beautiful new energy into your life. So with this star card as well, I'm hearing the healer must allow themselves to heal. So I feel like someone I'm speaking to here has always had a really healing presence when it comes to connecting with others, but might at times not give themselves the same degree of healing energy that they give to others. Again, there is that theme here of you, Divine Feminine, taking that power, taking that healing energy, taking that love and really turning it back in yourself. And I'm hearing that is really boosting your sense of self-confidence as well as you feel in sense yourself replenishing in the light of your own positive focus and attention. This also feels generally like a time where you've gone through a very intense purging. Most likely in the last few weeks, there has been a lot of really heavy, really intense energy coming up. And I feel that many things have been brought to the surface for the purpose of being released so that you could shift into this time of spiritual replenishment, renewal, and these very positive shifts forward. So what is being healed here with the star card? Okay, so we have three cup, three, I wanted to say three cups. That's interesting. So the three of cups might actually be connecting with this new energy as well. That sense of beginning to open yourself back up to the world, a very celebratory, happy time. And it's almost like a purging had to take place again, possibly over the last few weeks to really shift you into this happier, more celebratory time. I see that specifically with the chariot card here in the upright position that certain obstacles are being overcome certain breakthroughs are coming through positive change that you are cultivating within yourself or your life. Some of this seems to come through, I'm hearing willpower of focus. So really holding steady to your focus on something, whether that's focus on a visualization, on a dream, a goal, some kind of outcome here. 
But this feels like positive focus and holding that focus in a determined kind of way, bringing the overcoming of obstacles or major breakthroughs in your life. Specifically, these breakthroughs may be related to frustrating cycles in your work, finances, or whatever you consider to be your life work or life purpose, whether that's something that you feel that you found or something that you are still working to discover or uncover within yourself. Regardless, I'm seeing that recently. You may have felt stuck in some kind of a loop when it came to work, finances, or career, and that stuck energy is now being released. It's almost like giving you this major boost in those directions. I'm hearing that if you are someone who would say that you feel you haven't really found what you consider to be your life's purpose or what you really love to do. I'm hearing that really within the next three months to the end of this year, you may be really hit with inspiration to move in a new direction or really pick up this deep sense of passion or purpose for something specific. For those of you who already know what you feel you came here to be or do, I feel that this indicates there will be a lot of major breakthroughs coming in that direction, again, particularly through the end of this year. I feel that you will be seeing some breakthroughs coming or a lot of momentum picking up in that direction. Now here we also have the King of Cups energy. So this could be someone new that you've recently attracted into your life or will be attracting into your life. I'm hearing this is someone who aligns with you when you're in your power. So this could be the transformed version of that divine masculine that came out at the beginning of the reading. But I'm also getting this could be someone entirely new. It could be platonic, romantic. This could be an employer, a work situation. But this feels like someone who's energetically very well matched to you. And a key thing about this person is they carry a very masculine energy, but they also are someone who is very emotionally stable and emotionally self-connected. And I'm hearing that their emotional stability actually inspires more peace and more stability from you rather than pulling you down into lower vibrational patterns, which is something that may be very new for you. Having someone who actually inspires you to a higher level of confidence and stability and emotional self-regulation rather than the opposite. What else can I channel about this King of Cups? Wow, they have a very in charge kind of energy generally. This is someone who knows who they are and they're very confident in who they are because we also have the king of wands energy. They are very decisive. And specifically, I feel as though this decisiveness at this time is being pointed towards you, Divine Feminine, meaning whether this is an employer or someone giving you an opportunity or a love situation, this is someone who is very sure about you and they see a tremendous amount of value in your energy, in your presence. Now, I feel that there is a little more going on here. What else can I channel about this? king energy here for the divine feminine listening okay so here we have the queen of pentacles I feel as though this is someone who connects to you when you are in your abundant queen of pentacles energy as well as at the bottom of the deck we have the magician so in your manifestation energy as well. In fact, I feel as though you will recognize this particular person, whether it's someone you've met or someone who's coming in, because when you're around them, you will feel a surge of energy. You will feel energized. You will feel inspired towards your dreams and goals and inspired on the internal plane as well to become a higher vibrational version of yourself. I'm hearing to reach for new heights, 
together. It seems like the two of you could make a very powerful team or if it's romantic, this could be a power couple kind of energy. With the six of coins upright, this feels like a very balanced energy, not just emotionally and mentally, but materially as well. It feels like there's a really beautiful give and take care. Like you never feel as though this person is taking from you in an imbalanced way. There's always mutual reciprocated kinds of energy here. With the Six of Cups reversed, I also feel as though this connection for the both of you, whether it's platonic or romantic, is a major marker towards letting something go in the past and focusing more on the future. So it's almost as though you both may have had things from your past that were keeping you stuck I'm hearing you both may have been stuck in some kind of holding pattern or in some kind of way, either romantically, work-wise, in some area of your life. And it's almost as though you were sent to each other to bring in this really beautiful, mutually empowering energy that would allow you both to let go of something from the past or of a past version of yourself or your life and shift into this Ace of Cups energy, this beautiful, powerful, potential new beginning or new connection here. So... In the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more into this specific connection. So we're going to be taking a look at this King of Cups, what they are thinking, feeling, and experiencing in the 3D, as well as any messages they might want to deliver to you, Divine Feminine. We will also be channeling into this connection itself and potentially how it could be moving forward into the future. So if you are feeling guided to explore the extended version of the reading, I just saw 2222 on the recording timer. Anyway, the link to the extended reading is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. So now I'm going to be turning to your higher self and your guides, Divine Feminine. I typically reserve these messages for the extended Patreon readings, but I'm feeling a lot of spiritual energy around you at this time, and I feel it would be really beneficial to the collective if we share some of that information here on YouTube. So here we have, first of all, the Hierophant. And also the Ace of Swords. With the number five coming out here, I'm seeing the number 555. This might be connecting with someone. I'm getting that someone here is making powerful choices for themselves or their life. These feel like choices taking place mentally or internally, so they might not be speaking them to others. This just feels like a newfound resolve or a newfound determination that's been inspired by like this cosmic surge of energy that someone is feeling. This feels like a commitment to some kind of dream goal, vision, or movement forward in their life. This may come with a sense of clarity with the Ace of Swords or some kind of newfound, highly inspired idea. If you've been feeling any type of these ways or you feel this way in the next few days or moving into the future, know that this could be a new idea that's actually been powerfully inspired by your own intuition, even if it feels like it's very random or coming from the conscious mind, it may be more deeply and intuitively inspired than your human self fully realizes. I feel as though someone is almost like building something here, committing to building something, whether that's building a new vision, dream, goal, something in their life here. And again, this seems to come with powerful new energy and new ideas. This is really powerfully shifting you, Divine Feminine, more into your Empress energy. And I feel that what is holding you in this Empress state of being 
is happening most dominantly through the solar plexus chakra. So this seems to connect with your sense of self-worth and self-confidence. Now I will say once again, I have that energy of possibly someone from your past to pulled on your sense of self-confidence or caused you to doubt yourself in some way or kept you stuck in some kind of a pattern with the king of pentacles reversed and also the hanged man in the upright position something that must be released or let go in order to shift forward into this ace of swords hierophant and empress energy I'm hearing pay attention to the people, things, and influences that tend to influence you down to a lower vibrational state of being. And it's almost like this sense of cutting these things out of your life. This may be something that you've been undergoing for quite some time now where you've been noticing what pulls you into lower vibrational states of being and having the courage to set boundaries or walk away from these things to, I know it sounds harsh to say, cut these things out of your life, but it feels like you have such a pure high vibrational energy and also this very strong spiritual purpose here on earth. And many of these lower vibrational things and influences simply cannot exist in your realm, in your space without beginning to affect you in this kind of way. And I feel like you've become consciously aware of this and more capable of setting those boundaries where it's necessary in order to protect your peace and protect this powerful new vision that you have been making a new commitment towards. And right as I was sharing about all of that, we get the lover's card. It's almost like as you have the courage to release those things from your life, I almost see someone like pruning their garden, cutting off the old pieces of themselves and their life and their connections that were dying metaphorically in order to allow the garden to thrive and to continue to grow. And I see that as you do that, you are becoming highly magnetic for this lover's energy because from a different perspective, you are actually clearing your own energetic field, cultivating this powerful energy of unconditional love around yourself. And that is what is becoming so magnetic for attracting in these external people, situations, and interactions that carry that same unconditionally loving frequency. So for some of you, this could be the harmonizing of a connection from your past from a wounded state of being into this beautiful lover's energy for others of you this could be the entrance of someone new into your life or someone who's entered your life recently once again i see that page of cups and that six of cups coming up here these cards both came out before and I said it represented someone who's very loving, comforting, emotionally aware, and also who participates with you in a very balanced way when it comes to emotional, mental, and material things. And again, I see that being the energy that you are calling in through the third eye, through the crown chakra, almost like pulling this person or situation in energetically through very spiritual kinds of pathways. This does feel like not only a very loving, harmonious connection, but a highly spiritual connection as well. And right as I said that, once again, we pull the high priestess to really bookend this reading here with that high priestess energy telling me that this lover coming in or this love situation harmonizing itself really connects with you in your high priestess energy when you are fully connected to yourself, when you are empowered listening to your own intuition and following that intuitive guidance. It's almost like that keeps you connected to this lover's energy and calls that person or situation powerfully into your life. 
So, wow, very powerful messages right at the end of this first reading here on YouTube. I am going to be reading one final Rumi Oracle message for this reading here, but also I will be continuing this reading in our beautiful Soul Tribe on Patreon. So in the Patreon reading, we will be diving deeper into these messages, channeling other pieces of information that want to come through, any other energies that may be attached to you at this time and could be thinking of you, sending you energy or affecting you in some way. We'll also be channeling more messages from your guides or higher self, whatever spiritual forces you personally connect with. But to close the reading here... I'm just going to pull one final Rumi card and actually two cards came out here. Cosmic Heart and Let Love Transform. So I'm just going to read a guidebook message here. The spring of love arrives to transform the dust into a garden. The call is heard from the heavens to bid the wings of soul to fly. The sea becomes filled with pearls. The dry land receives the water of life. The stone becomes a ruby and the body becomes all soul. Rumi. Love is my medicine, intelligent medicine. It takes death and makes it a passageway into greater life. What genius is this? A genius that will render anything and everything as a pathway to life. As the sun begins to set, the colors become vibrant. Even if we are deaf to the beloved's tender whispers, we shall not be blind. We shall be captured by the vivid display of the beloved's artistry and be transported into peace. This oracle comes to you as a living spiritual gift. Whether you realize it or not, you have triumphed. You have blossomed, succeeded, cast aside that which was unworthy, and taken up love's way. What does this mean? It means an avenue for divine fulfillment has been found. You are being given the power for spiritual success. Your heart's yearning shall manifest itself, but you must comply according to the law of love. What does that mean exactly? Do not attach yourself to the form that your resolution and success shall take. Why would we seek to limit love's creative genius thus? No, instead, trust that it will be magnificent, perfection, literally the work of great genius. Detach yourself from expectations of timing. That feels like a really beautiful place to close the reading today. Thank you so much to all of you who are here co-creating all of these readings and videos. If my energy resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. And of course, the link to the extended reading is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. I am sending you all so much love today, wishing you a beautiful start to the week, and I will connect with you here again in Wednesday's reading.